me tell you something. When doing spiritual work, I observed something, right? And I want to say to you, you got to be like a Mexican when doing spiritual work, right? What happens when you walk up to a Mexican and they don't want to bother with you? Hey, no, 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 I say, no, I'm lying less. So let me tell you something. I talked to this Mexican, right? And basically, it's about doing work. She knows that the guy she talking to, well, actually, her ex left her for someone else. But you know the crazy thing is? She's not, she hasn't said anything to her ex about the fact that she knows that he left her for somebody else. For somebody else. See, there's people that run to situations and as soon as they find out, oh, my ex got somebody, instead of keeping silent and being calm, they come back with this, ah, 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 ah. They, do, they, they do the most. And then after they are done, they make the situation much worse. That's when they want to go to a spiritualist. Sometimes a spiritualist won't be able to help you because you done the most. You made the situation worse than it already was. And sometimes the spiritualist doesn't have any leg room. So, just like Mexicans be like, no, I'm like, let's say, let's say, that's what you gotta be like. You say, I don't know what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? I don't, you know, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be like, I don't know. You gotta be like that. You gotta have that mentality. Like, I'm not gonna say shit. Sometimes it's best to keep your mouth shut. The problem with most of the people is that you get into your feelings and you talk too much. Be like a man.